Hey everyone, Pastor Matt from Susquehanna Valley Church coming back to talk to you about this process to go through through in life when it's unpredictable, when you don't know what's going to happen. We've been comparing it to this, this what we call shot process in traditional archery, where we do the same thing over and over again. We go through the steps to become as consistent as possible. Hey, I, I want to I want to remind you where we've been so far. We've talked about that that God is still God. He still has the same status. We're going to remember that. We're going to remember the history that that he's been there for us. He's been there uh, doing things time and time again. We're going to remember the disposition that he wants us to have, that we're going to not be afraid, but we're going to have confidence in what he says. And we're going to remember his promises, that he said things that he intends to follow through on with us. Hey, two more that we want you to think about. The first one is, is a presence reminder, and it's huge because you cannot go through life alone and feel like you're, you're loved and cared for by God. God is with you far more than you realize. You know, I've got little kids, and one of the things that I, I, I realize is sometimes when the lights go out, they get a little bit scared. And I can even think back to when I was a kid, and I'd be walking somewhere with my dad, and if it was dark, I wouldn't be 10 feet away from him like I would be in the broad daylight. I'd be right next to him. I'd be grabbing on, I'd be holding on to, to uh, his shirt tail or, or grabbing his hands because I wanted to know that I was right there with him. When God says to Jacob, I will be with you, God says to Jacob, come near me. I want you to know with certainty that I'm right next to you. And I want you to realize and appreciate the fact that I'm not leaving you alone in this, that I love you too much to abandon you. I love you too much to, to let go of you. You're going to be right with me throughout this whole time. It's a presence reminder that we need to remember when life's not certain. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know that God is right here with me. And then God goes into what we'll call the destiny reminder that he says to Jacob something that at first can seem a little iffy, but he says, when you go down to Egypt, you'll come back, but don't worry, Joseph will close your eyes. What he says is, yes, Jacob, you're, you're, you're going to pass away, which is a reality every one of us is going to experience. But he says to Jacob something very precious. He says, your son will close your eyes. Jacob, I have, it. I have already planned this out. I know exactly the moment that your life is going to end on earth, and it will not end outside of the, my presence, first of all, but also outside of the presence of your loved one. I will care for you. It brings to mind Jesus' teaching when he talks in Matthew chapter 6, and he says, look at the birds of the air. Aren't, aren't they amazing? Aren't they beautiful? God provides for them. And then he says this, not one of them falls to the ground outside of the Father's care. And it's a beautiful presence, a uh, beautiful reminder for us to understand that even though life may become difficult and even though my life might end here on this planet, God's desire is to see me through to life after death. That's where Jesus comes back again and again in the book of John. You can check it out on your own. And he says things like, whoever believes in me will live even after they die. Because God's got a destiny in mind for us. And so while I don't know what tomorrow's like, I know one thing's for sure. God has made a promise that if you have faith in him, you're his child and you're his child forever. And you get to be with him and live even after you die. So we appreciate the promise. We understand the presence of God is with us again and again. And we understand that we've got a destiny that's wrapped up in that promise or wrapped up in that presence. So we hope that we, we hold that near to our hearts when we don't know what tomorrow brings.